Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss about the case study on neem extract or we can say the neem patent. So introduction, so the neem tree all up, you know, uh, it has got a scientific name Azar Dairachta Indica. Okay, so it has been a revered in traditional Indian medicine for centuries due to its diverse medicinal properties. However, in 1990s what happened, the controversies erupted when patents were filed on various uses of the neem by multinational companies or you can say uh, the corporations sparking debates on bioparacy and protection of traditional knowledge. The background is simple. In 1980s and 1990s, again USPTO, they got they granted several patents to the multinational corporations for the pesticidal properties of neem extracts. So what property? Pesticidal property. Now these patents claim novel methods of using neem for pest control despite the extensive historic and cultural knowledge of neem in, in insecticidal properties in India. In the similar way how we used to use uh, what is this the turmeric in Ayurveda same, same thing neem extract is also we, India has been widely used in earlier days forget about this years or centuries also you can call okay. So it is already in use as an anti, you know, insecticidal uh, agent in India. So that again became a controversy. Okay. Now the granting of the uh, you know, patents on neem extras led to the widespread outrage and opposition in India, especially and other countries with a rich tradition of utilizing neem for agricultural and medicinal purposes. So in response, Indian activists, scientists, policymakers launched a campaign to challenge the patents and pro you know, protect traditional knowledge so the no patents on life so they started a campaign with a line no patents on life so movement gained a momentum so here many were there Indian activists there scientists were there and policy makers are also were there involved in this campaign no patents on life means it's already available on the life I mean already things are available on this thing don't patent on that so no patent on life movement gain momentum advocating for recognition of neem as a part of India's cultural and biological heritage. The resolution in efforts to challenge the neem patents both fruit in 2000 when a European patent office revoked a patent granted to a multinational corporation of fungicidal properties of neem extracts. So EPO revoked a patent which was already granted uh, a patent for a particular multinational company. Now the revocation was based on the prior art evidence submitted by the Indian government again demonstrating that the pesticidal properties of neem had been known and utilized in traditional Indian agriculture for the century. So lesson learned the neem patent case highlighted the importance of protecting traditional knowledge. Main lesson is what is a summary you have to protect the traditional knowledge right. So what is prior art search? Before you apply for a patent or publish a work, you should be knowing that whether this thing is particular thing is publicly available or not. If it is available, you cannot patent it. That is what the prior art is, right? But these people, though it was available, though they knew in India was using turmeric, India is using neem extract, yet they went on giving the grants, patent grants. US and Europe both to the multinational corporations that was finally restricted by the movement no patent for life right so furthermore the case demonstrated the power of collective action and intellectual solidarity in confronting bioparacy and IPR right or separating the biodiversity so it is it led to the greater awareness of the ethical and cultural implications of patenting natural resources and encouraging policymakers to enact measures to prevent similar incidents in the future so all the people came together they protected the biopiracy and biodiversity and when this happened when these kind of issues happen what happens both ethical and cultural implications will become stronger and and this was actually made, you know, uh, sure that the in future these kind of incidents will not happen. Okay, so that is about the the uh, case on the patent extract.
I mean new extra. Next uh, we are having the case study on Basmati rice. We'll discuss in the next class.